What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is Samsung with the launch most likely of the Galaxy S20 line of phones will have an airdrop competitor. Now, if you're not sure what AirDrop is, it is a app that's built into iPhones and MacBooks and iOS overall and allows them to send uh, big files or any size file really at that matter really, really quickly with Apple devices. It's awesome and it looks like Samsung is coming out with their own. We kind of already knew this and it's going to be called QuickShare and it looks like Max Weinbeck and the folks over at XDA Developers got their hands on a screenshot and some more information on it. Um, it will allow you to send pictures, videos, any file really uh, to another Samsung device. It, hopefully it'll be PCs as well, but right now uh, it'll be those devices and it's gonna be very, very quick to send these files. And you can do it with everyone or you can do it with just your contacts and it'll basically what it's gonna do is it'll use Bluetooth and uh, the Wi-Fi chip inside of your phone in order to do this at a very quick rate. Next up is about the Galaxy Z Flip, which if you'll remember, is the phone that's going to fold in half uh, and fold all the way at that point as well. So basically, if you see this, uh, the tweet right here from Max Weinbeck, the Galaxy Z Flip will lock into two different positions, 90 and 180 degrees. You can use it at 90 degrees as a kickstand and apps like Google Duo or the camera will just use the top part of the screen. So if you see this little photo up here, where it's folded in half. You could theoretically, I would assume, stand it just like that and not have to hold it and do easy video calls, you know, so it's propped up without having to have a case that props it up. That's interesting. This is gonna be stuff that I think will come in handy for someone uh, to use. So if you're into that, you're gonna take full advantage of uh, the new uh, Galaxy Z Flip. And the last story of the day, also from Max Weinbeck, out of the box, S20s will be set to 60 hertz, not 120 hertz. And just food for thought, uh, 120 hertz can only run at 1080p. 60 hertz can run at 2K or 1080p. Further on, in one of the tweets, one of the guys uh, says, not surprising, like Full HD+, plus, which is 1080p+. Plus. Max says, yes, it makes sense, but like 75% of the users aren't ever going to flip the switch. So what he means by that is in order to get this to change resolutions and speeds uh, for the refresh rate, you're gonna have to go into the settings of your phone, go into display, and then go into screen resolution and change it to whatever you want, 60 hertz, 120 hertz, or 2K, 1080, whatever you wanna set it at, because by default, it's gonna be 1080p plus 60 hertz, so you're not gonna get the amazing smooth screen right off the bat unless you go into the settings and do it, which means he's right. A lot of, no, most people are not even gonna even change this. I'm actually curious how many people wouldn't change it. And the reason Samsung does this is because obviously they're gonna, they want you to get the max best battery life. What do you guys think? You think it's lame that Samsung doesn't set this to either 1080 at 120 hertz or even 2K at 60 hertz? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you down the road. Peace.